Check this out, you guys. This is 3D printed, 3D printed floats. Uh, first time ever for me taking off of water. I've never flown a float plane off of water. Let's see if this thing flies. Let's see if I can fly it. Let's check this out. All right, here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started on the build, I got a couple things I want to talk to you guys about. I get asked all the time is, can I print this out of regular PLA or do I need to buy the lightweight PLA? I highly recommend you guys doing lightweight PLA. It is so much lighter. I did print out a fuselage out of regular PLA and one out of lightweight PLA just to show you guys the difference in weight. The lightweight PLA one is 60 grams. The regular PLA is 127 grams. It's over twice the weight of the lightweight PLA plane. The lightweight PLA is gonna make a huge difference. So let's talk about printing this airplane out. I usually use Kira. For this build, I recommend using Prusa Slicer. It's actually a free software. Just go to 3D Lab Prints website, go to the user guide. If you have a direct drive printer and you're using lightweight PLA, you can go ahead and give the G codes files a try that's the easiest way to do it the next way is to use prusa slicer click prusa slicer setup hit prusa3d.com download prusa onto your computer you can set up uh, your printer they do support printers other than prusa printers you don't need a prusa printer to use prusa slicer so set up your printer that you have go to the files tab on the top click open project go to the 3mf files it's going to have a generic printer loaded up automatically click the drop down menu and click the printer that you're going to be using if you're going to print it out of regular pla you'll have to go to the filament settings tab and you'll have to change the extrusion multiplier from 0.5 to 1 you'll have to change the print temperature to a temperature that'll work good for pla once you finish that you're ready to print if you do want to use kira as your slicing software you can do that it's a little bit more challenging here's a couple of the settings that you do want to look at for when you're using Kira. Your surface mode is selected to normal, that your slicing tolerance is set to exclusive. But I do recommend using Prusa Slicer. So now that we got all the parts printed out, let's get to the build. I used Fusion 360 just to make this small little part to go on the rim of the tire to help with the scale look.
I modified the STL files for the engines so that I could take the valve covers off and print them in a different color uh, so that I could get a little bit different look. Guys, check it out. We got the 3D printed 3D lab print Piper Cups. This is a free STL file. You guys can just go ahead and download the files. The link is down below. This thing weighs 530 grams, ready to fly with 1000 million 3 cell. And this is printed out of their Poly Light, lightweight PLA. And this is their Cub Yellow. Uh, this thing is awesome. I can't wait to get it up and fly it. off really quick. Wow, does that thing look sweet, you guys? Holy cow. Definitely a good little park flyer. With lightweight PLA, this thing prints out really nice and light. small tires for the grass so we'll see if they'll might stick the landing might stick the landing we'll see how this goes that was sweet taxis on the grass actually yeah taxis on the grass no problem wow guys that thing flew so good it was a nice little park flyer this is a great beginner plane super easy to put together plenty of power with the setup I have all right the next step, we're gonna add some floats to this thing. So let's put some floats on this and see if we can fly it off some water.
Alright guys, we just added the floats to this cup. I used some Flex Seal sealant to spray on the bottom of these floats to make them waterproof. With the Flex Seal, they are 68 grams. Uh, and there's a little piece here that you add to the rudder. So we add a solid carbon rod to the rudder and then you add this little piece here and that'll help with steering it in the water. Let's go ahead and put it in the pool and make sure these are watertight before we take it out to the lake and fly it. Oh yeah, dude, check it out. We'll have to taxi it around a little bit and see if the floats get any water in there. See the rudder sitting in there nicely. Alright guys, looks like the floats are working really good. Uh, they're all watertight. Let's take it out and see how it flies off the lake. Okay, we found the little pond that we're gonna do the maiden float flight on. Got yes. the cub out here. First time ever flying off floats. It's your first time ever. Ever. Like this, I've never <laughs> flown a plane off floats ever. I've always wanted to. Yep. I, I, my first plane was a Piper Cub, the foam blue and white plane. Yeah. I always wanted to fly off floats, but I never did. I always used the floats for snow and stuff like that. Yeah. This is, this is a good little spot to try because we crashed it. The shoreline's on every side. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they still seem nice and there's no water in the flow. It's sweet. Taxied around a little bit just now. It's been working great. Let's see if this thing can fly. Oh yeah. Oh, it flies. How does it fly with the floats? Yeah, it flies pretty good. Yeah, I mean, look how good it flies. Wow. Sweet. Didn't even need full power to take off just now. I just kind of gave it a little bit of power and took right off. It looks so cool. Doesn't it look yeah. cool, you guys? Doesn't that look sweet? Yeah, I mean, I haven't even trimmed it or anything either. I just set the CG about where I had it put the wheels on it. And yeah, it's, it's flying super good. All right, now let's try to land it. Got to come in this way. Got to make sure to land with the headwind, take off of the headwind when you're flying on the floats. Oh yeah, first takeoff, first landing on floats, you guys, that was so much fun. <laughs> Holy cow, dude, that was sweet. We're gonna throw a new battery in this thing and take it up again. All right, guys, we got a fresh battery in there. This plane was super awesome. I definitely recommend building this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. We'll see you guys in the next build.